show of hands, how many people think I can get one at 120 miles per hour? All right, let's go. 120, let's see it. Get over. I'm Clay Skipper, and I have just one day to see if I can return to serve from a pro tennis player. This is Above Average Joe. Returning a serve is one of the hardest things you can do in tennis, maybe all of sports. That's because when you reach the pro level, this ball is traveling really fast. The average male pro has a serve of 125 miles per hour. That means to reach from one side of the court to the other, it takes 700 milliseconds, or about that long. Not a lot of time to react. But an effective return of serve can change the whole rhythm of the game and can even put your opponent on the defensive. So even though returning a serve is not quite as sexy as a drop shot, or a backhand down the line, or even an ace, it's crucially important and seemingly really difficult. I'm gonna go out there and I'm gonna see. Can I hit a high-speed serve hit by a pro? We're here in Boca Raton at the Rick Macy Tennis Academy, and even though it's probably a little late to get me to number one in the world, they call it Macy Magic for a reason. So if anyone can teach me to return a serve, it's gonna be Rick. Coach! Play. Rick Macy, doing? good Glenn. to see you. How you, you doing? I'm doing great. You ready for the best day of your life? Oh, I think so. Or your so. worst. Sometimes, uh, I mean, sometimes they go hand in hand, but I always figure it out. Really, I should be asking you if you're ready to uh, work with someone of this talent. Yeah, this listen, academy. I work with some of the best players in the world. Venus and Serena, and a lot of people saw the movie. Capriati, Roddick, Sharapova. But people ask me all the time, like, who's your favorite student of all time? And believe it or not, today you are. All right, no, that's all you like to hear. No, no, it's who's ever on the other side of the net, that hour, that minute, that second. Now, I saw a little bit, you know, I know you played soccer, you got that goalie, you're very athletic. Thank you. What I'm gonna do is see your strengths and weaknesses and get the job done so you can maximize your ability. Wow. There's not a wrong way or a right way, there's a better way for Clay. Okay. All right. Wow. No, that was right off the no, cuff. no. That's pretty Listen, good. I'll, I'll figure it out for you. I love the challenge of putting Humpty Dumpty together. I can't wait. Ready for this? Oh, yeah. yeah let me just get into the meat and potatoes of the return of serve, okay? Rule number one, you always wanna to try to get it back. That's our first objective. People wait till the ball's hit, yeah. and then they react late. Uh -huh. Right before they make contact, there's gonna be a split oh. step. All right. So the key to being ready is you gotta be ready before you have to get ready, then yeah. you don't have to get ready. Okay. So you have to do what we call a split step. You okay. see it in baseball, right before they hit the ball, the shortstop, they take this little uh -huh. bounce. Because the ball's gonna come 60, 80, 100, 120. Okay. So the ball's gonna come at you like missiles. Now, the next thing, the stroke is gonna be much shorter. You don't wanna take your racket back to Miami, yeah, all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you're gonna take it back to Boca. And the reason why the stroke should be shorter, the first serve is gonna come a lot faster and you're gonna use their power to get it back, uh, okay. you know? So those are the three key things that we're gonna work on. Point of clarification. Okay. When are you timing the split step? When they hit the ball, before they hit the ball? I like you already. First off, that's, <laughs> now that's a great question. It's right before they make contact. Because if you do it too soon, that's not gonna be good. And if you do it too late, the ball's yeah. gonna be by you. Timing the split step is the key. Interesting. Because I think a lot of people probably play flat-footed, but I believe I saw a sign back there that said, happy feet, less defeat. Is that right? I wish a lot of the kids would read the signs. You know, he, you're reading the signs. You've already gotten better. So what I'd like to do now, get to show on the road, and let me start putting this thing together. Great. Try to remember the three. Great quickness. I like this split step. That's all right. Everything's difficult before it's easy. Okay. Let me tell you the good, the bad, the ugly. Okay. Okay. Number do. one. The split step is timed really well. I know this is gonna sound crazy, but be more aggressive. See, what I see, uh, because you haven't played, I want more mustard, because if you hit more mustard, you won't have to catch up. Uh -oh. Let's go, <laughs> let's go. You are full yeah. of these catchphrases. Good. More aggressive, watch how much better this is gonna be. Better, better. First off, here's the problem. Your contact point is always behind you. Mentally, you're excited and you're running in there like your hair's on fire. The name of the game on everything, you gotta hit it in front. Okay. I feel a good one coming right here. Hello, <laughs> hello. Okay. That was better. Balance. You're on fire. You're on fire. Okay, Great. now we're going to the next level, 80, 90. Nothing changes. Okay, now. First correction, very few balls are in the net. Yeah. A lot of them are over. Yeah. 
but they're very high. I want the swing path a little bit more linear. What you're doing, the racket's going up too soon, okay. but I want you to go more through it. Through it, okay. Straight through it, crush it. Hello, <laughs> Clay in the house, Clay in the house. Let's go. That was your best one of your life. Let's go. There we go. Ah, yeah. Jump. When you go for the wide ball, yeah. Bisect the angle. Uh, what I mean is yeah, yeah, yeah. run that way. Don't run that way. Smart. You're going to end up in Delray Beach in a minute. Okay. <laughs> Go after it. That right there. I know you don't believe me. That was your best one because it was clean. Yeah. It was decisive. It was authoritative. That's what we call a positive error. All right. See, a lot of people think I get it in. I'm good. Yeah. I miss it. I'm bad. No, huh. this is a journey. This is a long-term process. No one missed more return of serves than Venus Williams. She had courage, she had belief, she kept missing, missing, missing. And the more you fail, the more you're gonna succeed. Yeah. So after your split, drill it. There we go. New sheriff in town. <laughs> you know what's interesting? You do better when they come faster. Uh, she's not thinking about it. You're not thinking about it. You stole my line. You know, listen, people are dangerous when they don't think. The mind that controls the body can be anybody. You're reading the sign. I am reading That's the sign. That's a good signs. sign. You're reading my sign. <laughs> He's on fire. Notice when I changed the objective psychologically. Look at the quality of your shots. Yeah. You keep saying you want to change the psychological goal. Why is the psychological mindset matter so much? Okay. What I tell a lot of people, don't worry about the result. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And when you didn't worry about the result, you let it go. Yeah. A perfect example. So many times a guy serves the ball and the guy returns a serve. He goes, bang. And, and he puts it in. He goes, why can't I do that when they're in? That's interesting, Because yeah. there's no yeah. pressure. Now, if we have trouble, then I'll reverse engineer it and I'll kind of go backwards. But you keep doing exactly what you're doing. Okay. Go after it. Hello. <laughs> the best for last. That is amazing. I like how you ended that. The first thing I really love, your split step was great. And the fact that you told me you never did that before, that's amazing. The short backswing, she did a great job. But I think the most important thing, it's how you get over. Yeah. It's the quality of the production. The quality of a lot of your shots were like amazing. I'm very pleased. Great. I think you're ready for some guns. Great. And then, you know, after having seen me hit a few, who do I remind you more of, Venus or Serena? Uh, Richard. <laughs> <laughs> the chances of Clay returning the 60 mile an hour serve, money in the bank. I have no doubt, 90, that's gonna be a little trickier. Technically, he's come a long way. It's the anxiety. I gotta get him to slow it down in his mind. So I gotta work with him on the mental part, but he's a great student. I think he can do this. Rick is quite a good coach, so he knows how to uh, get your confidence up. I think that was one of my biggest things is just not feeling confident. And so that manifested sort of in me sitting back and not attacking the ball. It's sort of counterintuitive because you think you want more time, so you sit back, but actually going at the ball and being aggressive is probably the number one thing I'm gonna think about. How confident am I I can hit 60 miles per hour? These are gonna be famous last words, but I'm gonna say 100%. 90 miles an hour, I think about 50%. And then 120 miles per hour, before the session with Rick, I would have said 0%. After that session, thanks to his great coaching, I'm gonna say five to 10%. Couple questions before we get into it. Why is the return to serve such an important shot? If you got a great return, you're gonna negate the whole point because it's a little easier to hold serve than it is to break serve. But people don't really practice this. But if people spent more time on it, you would build confidence and that changes the whole landscape. Make it a weapon like Agassi. He flipped the script. He never had a great serve, but it almost didn't matter because he broke serve more than anybody yeah. on the tour. That was trained at an early age. In my opinion, the best returner the game has ever seen. So it actually makes people miss their serve just because they know you're going to return better. It gets in their head. Yeah, it gets in their is, head. Which is interesting because it also brings me to the second question, which is the thing that stuck out to me most about our training sessions, you kept talking about my anxiety and the sort of the psychological aspect of it, as opposed to telling me necessarily to do different things physically. Yeah. Why was that? So it wasn't really a technical thing because someone might have said you're late, mm -hmm. you know, or you're too close to the ball. But the reason why you were too close to the ball was what was going on the inside, uh -huh. you know, so I had to get you to calm down. You want to be aggressive, but you don't want to be so aggressive that you're rushing. But one other thing, you did so great. If you notice, you got a different shirt. And what's different? I've upgraded, okay, I've no, upgraded. Instead of Rick Macy and Compton, <laughs> we got Clay Skipper at Rick Macy. We're gonna see how this goes now, All right. because now this is showtime. Yes. As you can see, there's fans in the stands. I'm trying to create the environment. Pressure is a privilege, right? Yeah, yeah it has to be your best friend. <laughs> Love it. So we're gonna do three tries to hit 60 miles per hour, five tries to hit 90 miles per hour, and I'm gonna get seven tries to hit 120 miles per hour. 
The guy at 120, he was 100 in the world. He worked with Hingis and Hennen, and he has a gun. But I got some younger kids who are the best in the country. We're going to slowly go down the yellow brick road. We're going to build your confidence, and then we'll get to the big deal. Great. All Let's right. find some of that Macy magic. Let's do it. Show of hands, who thinks I'm going to get one at 60 miles an hour? Wow, all right, okay, that was, I thought I was gonna get zero. How many people think I can get one at 120 miles per hour? All right, let's go. There's an old saying, don't judge a book by the cover. Okay. Okay, you got two of the better eight-year-olds, United States of America. Okay. So just split, do your thing, but remember what I said, attack the ball. All right, let's go. <laughs> Showtime, let's go, Showtime. All right. Oh, aced, aced. Fans in the stands, cameras on, you get both of them in. That meant a lot to me. You gotta move up to the ball. Go Mason, bring the heat. Nice. Hello. Hello. See you later, Mason. See you later. <laughs> All right, Liam. I remember you were on my side before. Guy has a gun. Good job, look at this. Great stuff. Thank you for doing this. Kick butt out there, thank you. Mason, great stuff. Thanks for doing this. We're leveling up. No, this is the next chapter. Yeah, it's the next okay? chapter, okay. Next chapter. A little older, a little yeah. bigger, a little stronger. So you gotta be careful moving in too much. All right. Let's go, Luke. Let's bring it. Let's go, Luke. Oh. Good. No, I love that, that you were early. Good, Think good. Think about it. Positive. When someone serves yeah. it fast yeah. and you're early, you're ready. Great footwork. Tough to run around, yeah, but I yeah. want you to hit your port. Yeah. Change the objective psychologically. Yeah. Think about it. You haven't hit one long. Yeah. Hit it. There we go. Hello. Oh. Woo. See? Hey, did that feel good? Yeah. You see what I'm saying? I feel better if it went in, but I know. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. No, 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 no. <laughs> Listen, you got to miss and fail yeah. and fail and miss yeah. to succeed. Fair. You could have hit it in, but it could have been terrible. That's a good point. You know, you hit it yeah. solid. Didn't yeah. that feel good? Yes. Yeah, That's all great. that matters. Pop. She has a gun. She has a gun. Lebrana. Hello. See? You did less yeah. and you got more. Yeah. And the crowd loves it. Thank you. You're on fire. You're on fire. <laughs> what do you guys think? That's what they think. That says it all. Thanks. Great work, guys. That was awesome. Thank you. Good, good job. Good job. Hey, hey, good stuff. Good job. We got the big dogs now. I got Chase here. He's probably going to come in 115 to 120. Wow. Then I got Devante, who's top 100 in the world. He's going to come at 120. Wow. The, the one thing about Devante, he don't miss. <laughs> right now, he thinks this is a competition. Okay. <laughs> Maybe back up a little bit and just work on balance. Okay. But still balance, shorten, balance, the, balance. shorten the right. stroke, go forward. All right. Let's bring it. 120. Let's see it. 120 with mustard. Oh. Hey, that was healthy. No, that was healthy. All right. Yeah, that was a positive error. That's big time. Woo! He's intimidating you. You saw what he was doing earlier. Ah, oh, right in the coach. That's all right. All right. Hey, I like the hustle. <laughs> Let's go, Devon. Oh, first off, first off. Ah. No, no, listen. You're very quick. Yeah. If you shorten your backswing, yeah. you make it. Yeah. <laughs> Short, hey, less is more. Okay. Especially at 120. Yeah. Short stroke. They're going to give you the power. Use their power, Clay. Use their power. Oh. No, no. First off, because they, they're serving this way, they're going to have a spin yeah. on it. Yeah. So you got to move. Yeah, yeah. And that's a major Woo! league slice. That was nice. Oh. Good try. But see the anxiety? Yeah. Because it came at you quick, yeah. you, you went up in the air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember what I yeah. said? When people are calm, yeah. they usually keep their feet on the ground. Yes. When they get a little excited, that's yeah. when they get jumpy. Yeah. The technique was great. You had a short stroke. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. Short stroke. Hello. Let's oh. go. What do you think? <laughs> Look. Told you. 120. I told you you could do it. Where we started, the guy, you went from the outhouse to the White House. I mean, this is amazing. You got it. <sighs> Good stuff. Thanks for doing that. Thanks awesome. for doing that. Hey, let's go, Clay. Appreciate Clay. you. Clay. Thank you. No Thank no you, man. No Thank no you. What'd you think? You can be a player because you're a great athlete. I was very impressed overall. 
It's a testament to your coaching. So what did you see out there? As a player yourself, what, uh, what were you looking at? At the beginning, when I started serving 40, 50, 60 miles an hour, and he was struggling at the beginning, and then progressing to Devonte and I cranking it at 115, <laughs> 120, I've never seen the progression that fast. Uh, it was amazing. It was incredible. He did such a great job. I'll piggyback on what he said, the, the progression of the little kids and then up to us, yeah. it was, I thought it was amazing. Was I average or above average today? Well, you don't, above. don't lie to me. Listen, you guys, I lie. No. I'm just oh. brutally honest. Yeah. This is well above average. I have potential and I've corrected the craziest stuff, but it, it blew me away. So you want me to come down, move down here and start coming to the uh, academy? We'll talk after yeah. this. Is over. <laughs> First 32 year old student in history? No, yeah. it's, hey, listen, we'll train for the 40 and over. I love it, let's do it. All right, you heard it here first. <laughs> So today was the rare occasion uh, where I was actually above average. I think the biggest takeaway is that it's very, very difficult to return to serve because even though I was able to do that, everything was hitting my forehand. Uh, I wasn't judging the top spin. There wasn't first serve, second serve. So I was an average guy, but Rick is like a superior, way, way above average coach. So much of what he told me was just psychological, right? And he did give me some technical stuff like the split step, but. A lot of it was just don't be anxious, be athletic, and sort of got me out of my head. That's it for today. We'll get ready for the next one. Thanks for tuning in.